How about some very simple vision? Real honest, so we're not using a depth sensor anymore. And this is about as simple a vision as, as you can imagine. So this is work that was done by Frank Dellart, who's a professor now at uh, Georgia Tech in our robotics and vision group. But in uh, 1997, he was like six years old, it looks like. Uh, no, that's not Frank. That's some kid at the museum. Frank, Frank was doing his PhD at the time. He did something very cool. They said, you know, we've got this ceiling, and the ceiling has lights in it. If we had a map of the lights, we should eventually be able to figure out where we are by just do we see light or don't we see light? And the way that works is you had a robot with a little camera that just looked up. All right, here's that little square. And it would just see, did I see something bright? medium or sort of dark, right? It, would, it could just get a small number of sensor values. Or you could think of it as just taking the total value as saying about how bright is that spot. Now to do that, what I have to be able to do is given being anywhere in here, I have to know what is the probability of getting that brightness in the image. So uh, that's what this shows here, that if this was actually the brightness, this is the probability of the brightness that I would see. So the idea being if, if this is the actual brightness of the state x of the position, then this is the, the likelihood of, of what I would see. So for example, suppose I'm under a light, okay? So typically what I see is this brightish patch here. And this map is the likelihood of getting that bright measurement at these locations. And, and by the way, in this map, the black are the high points. So you see each one of these lights. So if I was actually under the lights, the likelihood of seeing something bright is high. Otherwise, the likelihood of seeing something bright is low. Uh, sort of near a light, I'm going to see the, tend to see these gray things. And when I'm far away from a light, I'm going to see mostly darkness. So those are our P of Zs given X. And then here's the thing running. And it's a little hard to see. You see all these red dots going. And what's happening is the robot is actually following this red line. And it comes in and it goes down. And you'll notice after a little while, it knows exactly where it is. Now it's going to turn off to the, to the right over here somewhere. Uh, and, you see, and if it hangs out in a dark area for a while, its uncertainty grows because um, it doesn't know exactly where it's moving in that dark, in that dark area. Okay, so you're watching it and it's doing some cool stuff. What's interesting is, so we have this map uh, of the thing. We can compare two things. The robot knows the commands that it gave to its wheels. Okay, so it knows how far it thinks it went. It also knows how much it thinks it turned. You guys have an odometer in your car? Odometer measures distance. Odometry is when you measure how you think you moved based upon how your wheels turned. If we plot on this map where the robot thinks it went based upon um, its wheels turning, we see something that looks like this. Okay, And the reason we know that that's wrong is that these are areas that it can't actually go through. And you see it gets sort of right, but then it sort of gets a little confused, and it's going through parts that it can't actually go through. When we add vision, and why do I say add vision? Well. We still use the odometry as the deterministic part. Megan jumped for that thing, right? So the odometry says, well, you moved a foot to the right. Okay? So we add that. That's our prediction part. So we still use the odometry, but then the measurement from the vision uh, improves our result. Okay? And that gets us the much better result. And this is using essentially a camera just looking at a little area and saying, am I bright or am I dark? Or how, how bright is it? And I have a map of the ceiling. So it's pretty cool. Well done, Frank.